In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you a very innovative PowerPoint slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I have added one image, then I've added some bright colors here and you can add some text like the amazing nature and how this works is when I click, you can see here the color got changed, a new image comes and then you can add your own text here, the business meetings. Again, on my next click, you can see here again the background changes with different colors again different image then i'm seeing the scenic view and then the last slide which is the calm jungle so this way you can make some beautiful powerpoint slide with the help of this concept and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to support my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and i'm going to insert three circle hollows for that go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to choose the circle hollow just click it here and the first circle hollow the size i'm going to give is 7.45 the same height and the same width okay shape outline make it no outline then right mouse click go to the format shape i'm going to make it somewhat transparent and then make sure to align middle all right and then i'm just going to move this one here i'm going to make this much you can see here only this particular part i'm going to and then this one you can just reduce the size like this okay so you can make it more wider actually so again make sure to align middle right once this is happened let me just zoom out a little bit i'm going to add a second uh, uh, circle hollow for that go to insert shapes again from the basic shapes i can select the circle hollow or i can just duplicate this also anyway again this one the size which i'm going to make is as 15.55 again shape outline make it no outline shape fill maybe you can give a yellow color and make it transparent and then this one i'm going to put it like this here all right and then you can see this small orange one and again make sure that align middle first okay and this small orange point just drag it so that it should touch to the blue one even if it is overlapping it's not a problem all right second one and then the third one which i'm going to duplicate again press ctrl d let me just give some different color and now for this particular size which i'm going to make it as 24.65 all right and then again align middle all right and then you can just align it and let me just zoom out a little bit and you can just reduce the width of it all right you can see here i have placed it something like this all right even if it is overlapping it's not a problem so you can see here let me just zoom out again i have made three circle hollow this is one this is two and this is three this is we required to make the morph animation all right so for the safer side i'm just going to right mouse click and duplicate the slide if something goes wrong then i will be having a, a backup slide to work on okay so let me just go to the slide number seven now now what i'm going to do is this particular slide i'm going to select and i'm going to give some darker colors all right maybe you can use some dark colors any dark color you can use it and again if you want you can just cut it the other side which is outside of the slide area how to cut that one go to insert shape select the rectangle draw the rectangle you can see here i'm just going to start from the end of this particular slide where it is ending so let me just shape outline make it no outline and if you want you can just put it to the fit to slide size and make sure that it is properly aligned okay once this is done what i'm going to do let me just zoom out i'm going to select the circle hollow first the smaller one hold the shift key select this rectangle and under the shape format merge shape just subtract 
so i end up getting a shape something like this and this one you have to make it a darker the next thing which i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this also into two parts all right for that what i'm going to do let me just cut this one into two parts again go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle i'm going to make it more transparent shape outline make it no outline and exactly put it like this and make sure that the uh, the rectangle should be bigger than the the circle hollow okay this one the yellow one all right so now i'm going to select this uh, circle hollow hold the shift key select the rectangle and under the shape format merge shapes say fragment all right so now this particular uh, slide which let me just zoom a little bit you can see here this one i'm going to delete it and inside also it has created something which i'm going to you can see here now it has come into two equal parts all right so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to give some different color combination example i'm going to give a dark green here and i'm going to give a some other color maybe a blue color anyway that i will come to that the coloring part later but let me just cut this one also now again what you need to do is again select go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle which is bigger than the, the first one you can see here and make sure that it is properly cut or aligned now i'm going to select this one and before that one make sure to shape outline no outline okay now i'm going to select this shape hold the shift key select this rectangle again more shape i'm going to make it fragment and this i don't want this one and you can see here again this has split into two and sometimes you know what happens is it will create extra uh, objects which i'm going to delete this one here also you can see here it has created so which we need to do delete it maybe sometimes here also it has created the yellow one you can see here all right so now uh, we have uh, done this particular design now it's time to give the right color combination to it okay now for this one i'm going to give a blue one you can see here dark blue and here i'm going to give somewhat lighter blue okay again go to the more colors standard maybe i'm going to give this blue so two color combination i've given and make sure that transparency has to be removed and this side i'm going to give a kind of some dark green okay and here i'm going to give something light green again remove the transparency effect so this is my first slide here all right and i'm going to duplicate this one duplicate the slide all right and before that one make sure that this is properly grouped together so i don't want let me just delete this let me just come back to again this one so this one and this one press ctrl g to group it and this one and this one press ctrl g to group it okay i have grouped this one this is one group and this is one group all right now let me just duplicate the slide duplicate right mouse click duplicate and now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one and i'm going to rotate it you can see here a uh, counterclockwise the green has to come this side okay and here the clockwise the first is anti-clockwise second is the clockwise i'm going to do it i have rotated now the blue has come this side you can see here the blue is here on to the left now blue is to the right now okay i'm going to select this second slide go to the transition and click on the morph and here morph i'm going to make it uh, object only and just reduce the size to one so let's see how it looks so this is my first slide you can see here so it has coming in the same direction so let me just change the direction for this one it was like this right so let me just change it a little bit curve all right now let's see yeah it's coming this one so we need to just align it properly so you can see here this one and this one all right so now again 
you can see here it's coming now from the opposite direction all right you can see something this is what we need again if you want to make it more faster you can just reduce this one to maybe 0.5 so it will be much more faster you can see here but i don't want this much faster so let it be uh one itself okay so you have to just make it a little bit you know don't put straight here just make it a curve a uh, little bit bend here and this side also bend so then what happens here is it comes into two different directions okay so now before moving to the third or fourth slide we need to add the images right so i'm going to the slide number seven which is our first slide go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the rectangle this is the place where i'm going to insert some images shape outline no outline shape fill maybe you can give some gray color here okay all right and make sure to align middle all right so our image will come here all right the next one maybe i can just touch this one here now i'm going to duplicate this by pressing ctrl d and alt and the right arrow key i'm going to make it vertical and exactly place it on top of this one then hold the ctrl shift key bring it down and this hold the ctrl shift key bring it down now in this particular here you can add any images you want so let me just thread these four objects rectangular objects and press ctrl g to group it okay now if you want you can just add an image you can add any picture color or whatever all right so for example if i would like to add some picture here i'm going to select this picture okay this one all right the next one i'm going to choose here and i'm going to give a different picture for that you can go to insert if it is already available from your local pc you can select this option or you can just go and select the option from online so here i'm just going to type say example business meeting i can just choose this image and click on insert okay and sometimes you need to remove this one okay anyway i will just show you so now okay this is my second slide uh, sorry second image now this is the third image which i'm going to insert again picture use some different pictures i'm going to say some landscape okay so maybe i'm going to choose uh, this image and then one more picture or texture click on insert online pictures again you can type some uh, could be some uh, animals example okay and you can just choose any animal of your choice uh, maybe i can just choose this one click on insert so you can see here i have added four different pictures now these pictures has to be rotated on each slide okay so i'm going to select this one control c come to the second slide control v okay and then alt and the right arrow key you have to just turn this one you can see here now let me just show you so this is my slide number one slide number two it comes like this you can see here all right again depending on how fast you need you can just change this one all right like this and here if you want to add some background you can add some background a dark background i can just choose for the full image oh, sorry slide shape outline no outline shape fill i can feel some dark color and send this to back now i'm going to choose select this one control c come here control v and shape fill i'm going to give maybe some darker green okay you can see here any color of your choice and then send this to back so let me just play now this is slide number one this is slide number two you can see here likewise you need to just duplicate this one control d to duplicate now the green color has to go this side and the this uh, uh, other color for example i'm going to give a different color combination here maybe an orange with the 
dark orange okay so now this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to move sorry again control z use the rotate key uh, rotate uh, this option and i'm going to rotate like this and here also this one i would like to rotate the other way around okay so let me just play now this is my first slide this is second slide and this is a third slide now the third slide we need to rotate the image as well so alt and the right one two three four five six times okay let me just play now this is one this is two and this is three you can see here all right so this is the simplest way you can create a very creative uh, slides with this concept and the last part is you can add some text so let me just fit to the slide size go to insert text box i'm going to say the beautiful for example garden or the flowers or whatever so i'm going to make it as white font i'm going to use as open sans extra bold increase the size you can see here i'm just going to increase it if you want you can increase further and again make sure that shape format align its middle maybe i have to increase to maybe 80 and again make sure that it is align middle all right and if you want you can give some uh shadow effect as well so this the beautiful garden all right so now i'm going to select this one control c go here control v i'll just say the business meeting okay the business meeting let me just copy control c control v and i'll just say the sunset the beautiful sunset or the amazing I'll, I'll, sky i will just say the amazing sky like that okay now this one and this one what i'm going to do is i'm going to select this one go to the transitions again and here effect options i'm going to make it as a character here can you see here character and make sure that the moment you change this one the duration will come back to two so i'm going to make it as one again so now let me just play so the beautiful garden the business meeting the amazing sky you can see here this way you can make some beautiful slide with this concept